What's going on, everybody? As you know, we are going through this pandemic, um, and we are wearing masks and we're made, wearing gloves to protect ourselves from the coronavirus. But my question for you, are you also wearing your mask to protect yourself from other infections, such as worldly infections? I use this as an example because even before the coronavirus happened, we've already should have been wearing masks and gloves and protecting ourselves. Not in the physical standpoint, but in the spiritual standpoint. Because there are a lot of things in this world that uh, we ingest that affects us in a fleshly way that it deteriorates on our flesh. It, it hinders our spirit from growing. And I simply um, wanted to share a message. You know, I always say I'm not a preacher. I am just a messenger of what God's put in my heart to share and um, the things that I have gone through in my life. So I was, I'm, I just finished doing a devotion about distraction, being distracted, being distracted from your purpose. And I want to, you know, go through a scripture, um, Psalms 73, 26, where it says, my flesh and my heart may fail but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. And simply understanding that your heart and your flesh may fail. Your flesh may deteriorate. Your heart may stop. You may, whatever it is that may happen with your body, the strength of God continues to live on through us. But we have to make sure that we allow him to live on. And I've I've been I've been I've allowed myself to be distracted from what God um, wants me to do as far as getting into His Word even more. I was simply asked the question: um, Are you spending enough time with God in His Word? And the answer was no, like a few weeks ago, because I. We'll wake up in the morning and maybe check an email, check a text, check social media. When I wake up in the morning, I'm thankful to be awake, to, to wake up in the, and I'm thanking God. But is God's word the first thing that I do when I wake up in the morning? No, it wasn't. And now I'm trying to train my mind for that to be the case. Um, because understanding when you're distracted, when the devil distracts you from things, that God wants you to achieve. He wants you to be a better person in a way of being a better person of this discipleship. Because me as a man of Christ, I'm supposed to go out and make disciples. I'm not saying I got to go out and preach to each and every person. But people I come in contact with, they should be able to see God in me. Because of something I'm saying, something I'm doing. Not for me to get the credit, but for him to get the credit. Because it's never about me. I'm simply just a vessel. So I always say to myself, whenever I'm in a, uh, whenever I meet people, I want to make sure that I be a blessing in some kind of way. That I leave them different um, than when they first, when before they met me. And like I said, it's not about me. It's not about me making me feel good or making me like, oh, I didn't know. I don't take credit. If God put something on my spirit to do, or my heart to do, I'm gonna do it and be like, it's thank God. Don't thank me. You can thank me as the vessel, absolutely, but. It's about God. Thank him, really, because it's him who, who allowed me to be able to do whatever it is that I was able to do. And what I learned a long time ago was that I've be, I, I gained more satisfaction when I do for others than I did when I, when I did for myself. That was something I've I'd never experienced before when I first experienced it. And I was like, wow, this is pretty weird. But it was also very refreshing because then you know that you're doing something of God because when he makes you feel good about something that you do for somebody else more than you feeling good about you doing something for yourself. Um, so I wanted to just say that make sure that we are not being distracted by things in our lives, things that's going on right now with the COVID-19 to distract us from what our real purpose is and what our purpose is because in this business, 
I'm in the entertainment business, some as you know. Um, what if you're not able to, to act anymore? What will you do? What if you're not able to write another script anymore? What will you do? What if you are not able to produce or direct or to do anything in an entertainment business that you're doing? What will you do? Because as you see, everyone is affected by the COVID-19. The industry is affected. The world of sports is affected. Everything, jobs are affected. Everything is affected. Some business may not be able to survive after this. People are affected. The question is, what will you do when or if you get out of this situation differently? How will you operate? How will you maneuver? Because sometimes what happens is we have faith while things are good. But when things are bad, the faith disappears. Our faith will be challenged constantly, daily, weekly, minute by minute, hour by hour, our faith will be challenged. And if you're distracted, your faith will definitely be challenged even more. If you're allowing things that don't really matter as much to distract you from your purpose that God has said that he wants you to do, you will face some things that you would never imagine facing before because you've lost sight of his kingdom. You lost sight of what his purpose is for you. And another um, devotion that I started doing is talking about um, the, the spirit, the, the fruit of the fruit of the spirit and where there's five part of the spirit. And it's not five parts, not five different fruits, but it's almost like an orange that you chop into five if nine, actually nine, sorry, nine parts of the fruit. Not you chop into nine pieces. That's nine pieces of that fruit, that same fruit. So you have to make sure that your fruit is growing from the right tree. Because sometimes the fruit looks good, but it's planted in the wrong place. It's rooted. The tree is rooted in the wrong thing. You can't, your, your, your flesh and your spirit can't coexist together. You can't be led by the spirit and led by this flesh. You can only be led by one. And as you see, a lot of times our flesh will get it, get in our way. Where we'll be in our, our pride, our egos, and things that are self-seeking. Instead of being in the fruit, the spirit of, of God to where we're led by having um, a good heart, by, by having um, not being not being self-seeking. You know, these things are just simple things that we'll learn in life. But as we continue to go through what we're going through in this world, we have to come out this thing better people. We have to figure out how can we continue to live out our purpose, making sure that we keep our focus on God, making sure that we don't lose sight of what it is that we're supposed to be doing during this moment, whether it's praying, whether it's doing Zoom with friends, checking on each other, loving on each other, and being safe at the same time. There's people out there that are, are willing to die for a party. It's like, no. If I die, it won't be because I because I was I was careless and I was at a party because I'm like, yeah, if I get it, I get it. No. Like my boy Chad was shot, uh, Gaspard. He died saving his son. He was out in Venice Beach, was out in the water. They came to try to save him. He threw his son. It's like, no, save my son first. And then he went under. Like, as a parent, we all want to be at that, that place where we would sacrifice ourselves for our kids. But we don't know what we'll do in that moment. But that's the type of person he was. And we are supposed to be people who, who give more than we receive. You will receive... Well, guess what? We will probably give more than we receive. But you plant when you plant your, your seed, you sow, you reap what you sow. So we have to continue to make sure that we're planting good seeds. We're continuing to do good work. There's people out there doing amazing things. People feeding the homeless, being going to food banks, risking their lives to make sure that they others can have the healthcare workers. This thing is a life lesson. Like for me, as a father, I'm bothered because I can't go see visit my kids right now. 
So it, it's there's people that have their kids right there. So cherish your kids, love on them, explain to them what's going on, and explain to them how lucky they are to have the things that they did have before this situation happened. Think about all the things we were able to do, the traveling we were able to do before this happened. Things are going to be different. I don't know how things will look after this, but things will be different. I'm not saying you have to be in fear, but we have to be wise. We have to be smart. We have to be safe. I love you guys, and I want you to continue to, in this moment, in this time, live your purpose. Don't be distracted by what's going on right now. You still have to work towards your purpose. Whatever that may be, start putting in the work because when things open back up, things are going to start moving. But be prepared. Some of you guys don't know how you're going to pay your rent. Pray. Have faith. I've been through it. I've been through it. I had to pay my, my rent on credit cards before. Didn't know that was possible. I had to make decisions. I had to do things that that had I not been still and trusted God, that I would have been panicking, that I would have been trying to borrow, steal, beg money from people. And I didn't have to do that. People, of course, blessed me, but I didn't even have to ask. Just continue to have faith. Trust and believe and be safe and wear your mask. Protect yourself physically and spiritually at all times, making sure that you stay protected. I love you guys and be blessed. I hope this message reaches or touches somebody, even if it's one person. I'm just trying to make disciples and do what God intended for me to do. I'm not perfect. By no means. I'm just trying to make sure that I do my part. Because tomorrow's not promised. I don't know when it's my time. But while I'm here, I want to continue to do the work. All right. Love you. Be blessed.